I've just been participating in the time and range uh, session here at the ATTD and uh, all the talks were concerned with setting pretty strict targets using continuous glucose monitoring. Uh, but one of the most striking questions, I think, which was important, is that a gentleman from India got up to say, well, what about in economies and uh, countries where there's very little resource for this kind uh, of technology? Uh, what are we meant to do? Um, and it is relevant to a question that I'm, I'm, I've often asked, saying, well, you, you talk about hypoglycemia all the time. Isn't it really complicated to try and assess people's risk? Uh, I've got, you know, sometimes I have 50 patients in a morning, and are you really expecting me to assess that when I've got so many things to do in just a few minutes? Um, and I think I'd answer by saying, actually, you can assess hypoglycemic risk really quickly. Um, and if you make it part of your routine consultation, and just knowing a few of the risk factors which can increase risk, you can really make a difference. So, for example, um, knowing that in type 2 patients on insulin, probably one of the most important things, and actually that's true for self and is, is to measure their kidney function. Um, which is a really simple test to do. Um, and I think that asking a simple question, what glucose level do you get symptoms? And uh, you can ask that in 10 seconds, uh, and then dividing patients into those that experience their symptoms less than three minimals per liter which is 55 milligrams per deciliter. If, if you're getting your symptoms above that, then you can consider uh, that you have good warnings of hyperglycemia and you're relatively low risk. If you have symptoms well below that, particularly if it's uh, on a regular basis and, and blood glucose monitoring, which is, which is available in many countries, uh, will enable patients to mark their symptomatic level you can you can identify patients at risk really quickly, and I think it's a it's not even a clinical tip. It's something that should probably be part of routine consultations. Mm -hmm.